Hi, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to a Black Friday unboxing. It's been a really, really good Black Friday this year, so I'm very grateful to all the manufacturers and retailers out there put on some fantastic offers and made it very difficult to choose, but you know, spend we must. Um, I'll bring you in, we'll have a look what we've got. As you can see, it's quite a lot of, uh, of gear. Before I do that, a few things I just wanted to say uh, before we crack on with the, uh, the episode. I want to extend a few thank yous. Uh, Paul Dolden, I'm sure a lot of you will subscribe to his channel. Uh, if not, I'll put a link below. Um, Paul does essentially what I'm doing, and I don't mean that like he's ripping me off or anything, or in actual fact, I'm, not, I'm certainly not uh, attempting to rip him off. Um, Paul runs a channel, and Paul has been incredibly generous with uh, little tips and bits of advice and things that he's learned, he's already experienced, and he's been good enough to pass those on to me. So uh, I wanted to say thank you to him. I want to say thank you to Detailing World. Uh, I've been on Detailing World for a few years at this point, uh, specifically Pitsy on there. Um, I, when I started making these reviews, I just thought, I'm using this stuff anyway. I'm going to put my, my, my uh, thoughts to camera. I certainly didn't think about uh, actually becoming uh, something within Detailing World in that they have their uh, review section. Very recently did uh, the Infinity Wax Rubber uh, Wax Review. Um, and de uh, detailing well, we're good enough to actually put that in their official review section. So immensely gratified by that, so thank you to them. Um, I want to say thank you to WoWo for the uh, card and the gold coins, and a lot of us got those. So thank you very much to them. Merry Christmas to everyone at WoWo. Uh, and the same, extend the same Merry Christmas to everyone at Bright Max. Uh, I think it's nice touches like that. Like I said in, in numerous videos, we're very, very lucky with the industries that we have in terms of detailer manufacturers uh, in the UK. Um, and it's small touches like that, really, really nice. It really does set companies apart. Um, you know, I can't even imagine sort of how much effort would go into, you know, for either company like that, going through their database of customers and, you know, creating those cards and, and so on, sending all those out, let alone, you know, cost as we all know, postage isn't cheap and certainly not reliable this time of year. Um, so to those and to you, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I want to thank you all for subscribing, sticking with me for this past few months, and uh, hopefully stick with me going forward. So um, that's enough of me waffling. Come down, have a look what I've bought, because I've bought many, many things. All right, so I'm going to start on the right. Everything on the right is uh, Black Friday related. Things I've put on the left, uh, these are things that I've got around Black Friday, but not specifically Black Friday purchases. Um, I'm going to start with one I know a lot of people picked up on Black Friday, and that is OCD Wax's Show Wax. This is their next offering uh, called Nebula. Um, I've already opened it. Um, you have to. It's just one of those things. That, um, the wax, everything about it, everything I'd expect, the presentation is very decidedly uh, OCD Wax. Um, nice glass jar, um, lovely label that's on it. The wax itself is a fantastic purple colour, is a gorgeous scent. Um, it's coconut and... Come to me in a minute. It's coconut and something, but it, it is an absolute glorious scent. Um, this is something, uh, if you've been on Detailing World, you'll see Chongo's been putting up pictures uh, of his Mercedes uh, wearing a bit of Alien topped with uh, Nebula. And my God, does it look glossy. It is a fantastic uh, set of photos. So look those up. Um, that'll tell you everything you need to know about picking this up. So if you've not got it in your collection already, scoop it up. I can tell you that before I've even tried it because I know people that are far more competent at detail than I have and they're singing its praises. So um, maybe a bit bandwagon in terms of a description, but trust me, guys, get on board. You'll be glad that you did. Uh, so that's number one. The next lot, I've kind of mashed all together, um, and there is a bit missing, so I'm gonna take one out of here. Uh, you've seen, obviously, I've already done the Infinity Wax, um, rubber wax review. I bought that and this. Um, Infinity Wax's Black Friday offer was 50% off. Um, their glass canopy is a wax sealant, I'm, I'm not sure quite how to categorize it. Um, I've seen on their website, uh, as out of stock, I mean, continuously, constantly out of stock. Um, I think it's a bit of a git for Michael and the guys at Infinity Wax in terms of the ingredients that need to go in this. So it's a little bit of a rarity for it to pop in stock in the full size. I think he tends to keep the 30 mils uh, in stock just to kind of be a, a bit more fair with uh, his client base. People can buy up at least a sample. 
Um, this I've been looking forward to. And then I did the craziest thing of bringing the box in and resting it by the radiator. So, put a crack in it. Overly pleased with myself, as you'd imagine, properly stoked with that. Um, the wax itself, really, really ridiculously oily. You'd be able to see that from there. Um, I'm hoping for greatness, but equally speaking with Infinity Wax, I've not used a wax of theirs yet that I don't like. So maybe a little bit biased towards giving you an opinion on that, but I imagine that is gonna be absolutely mustard. Um, Scent-wise, it smells like, like furniture polish. It's, it's got like a, a very functional type of scent, the type of thing we tend to expect from, uh, from sealants. Um, so like I said, list is a hybrid super coating, so um, not a typical sort of fragranced wax in that respect. Um, I'm hoping for great things with this, and I'll review it when I get round to it, which will be in the new year. So that was really stoked with. I couldn't hold my hands on my ass for the uh, the rubber wax. I was straight in on that one, gave that one a go, and I was glad I did. Um, been trying to take some pictures for um, durability on that. Uh, we're a week in. I've got the pictures. I get them uploaded to uh, to Detailing World, and I put them on my Facebook page. So far, so good. The finish on it is great. The durability in these salty conditions on tyres, it's holding up really, really well. So um, that's one to look into. It's just absent for the unboxing. The next few bits, actually, let me get these all from the boxes that they live in. Where's the other guy? There you are. It's the great thing with them. Um, Instagram particularly, so if, if you're not on Instagram, get on there. There's a lot of companies that aren't particularly sort of uh, shouty in places like Detailing World that um, they have a, a good following and they're certainly making products that look really, really well presented. Um, and this is one of them, Primal Detail. They, again in the Black Friday, quite aggressive with their prices. They, at this point, if you have a look on their website, have three waxes. Uh, so you've got Pride, Envy, and um, forget the other one. Basically, they name them after the Seven Deadly Sins. So I'm, I'm looking forward to when they do Sloth or Gluttony. So they, they should be quite fun to use. This one is Pride. The labels on them are really clever in that, I mean, obviously you need to get up close to see this. So it's a, it's a small downside to it, but I quite like it. So you've got their corporate logo, the company uh, Gorilla but he's got tattoos and on the tattoo there says Pride. So they've actually got the brand built into the tattoo, sorry, beg your pardon, the um, product name built into the tattoo just there. Uh, I quite like that, it's small details, but it's, uh, it's a really nice one. Um, in terms of how aggressive these guys were with their deals, this wax here, it's their top priced wax. Um, it's 30 quid for a tub. I got this, I got their pre-wax clean, uh, cleaner and their quick detailer for 30 pounds posted. So that's how kind of keen they were on the pricing. And um, the wax itself, really nice pour on it, lovely oily feel to it, a little bit firmer than the uh, the glass canopy in terms of overall feel and texture, and it's caramel scented. So it's another one of those dangerous to be around, potentially, you know, you could stick a spoon in that and eat that. Uh, with these, I don't see a lot of reviews in terms of um, outside of Instagram, really. Um, there's a term that can come up, I see it from time to time, um, with brands that can be very much sort of niche with uh, certain markets, um, a, you know, a scene type of brand. And I don't think that these are that. I think with Primal Detail, they probably just don't shout as loud as maybe they could. Um, I'm gonna give these a go. I made a decision, and this is something I'm gonna do going forward with my wax reviews really need to start pairing them with the pre-waxes they're intended for. Um, so I thought where possible, I'm gonna try and do that. It's surely it's only gonna add to the review videos if I can get that, that finish that the manufacturer intended. I know there's a lot of crossover. I'm sure as a pre-wax, I could use this and then stick you know something else on top of it. Um, I'm gonna try and do that going forward. Uh, and then quick detailers, you know, who's not a fan of a quick detailer anyway? So look forward to using those. The scents on these other two, nowhere near as strong as uh, the wax, the wax very pungent. That is kind of a strawberry-ish type of scent, strawberry milkshake somewhere in that ballpark. And then with a the quick detailer. Yeah, I can't be 100% on that one. Um, I'll, I'll find out, I'll, I'll 
mention it below. Um, as always, put all the links to all these uh, in the bottom. So if you want to look into what these people are doing, go check them out. Um, like I say, certainly from a pr presentation point of view, packaging point of view, primal detail, um, make nice looking products. Uh, the other one, slight brand crossover. Wax Junkies ODK. Um, this is now common knowledge between those in the know. Um, so for those that don't and you're far and few between, uh, Dan from ODK started an offshoot company, Wax Junkies, and they make fantastically priced waxes and they are fantastic waxes. Um, so a few little bits picked up from them. Um, their cabin dressing, if you don't own this, I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, I've done a video on it. It leaves a lovely satin finish and it smells ridiculously nice, cranberry, cranberry and lime scented. Um, so that, if you don't have any in your life, get some. You'll be very thankful that I told you to do that. The other bits and bobs, and these uh, are four waxes and wax junkie shampoo. So I'm not sure if that's an exclusive. Um, but obviously, you know, Dan knows his onions, he's making quality products anyway, so Dan knows how to make a shampoo. He's simply making one for the Wax Junkies brand. So I'm gonna give this a try, uh, feed my thoughts back to Dan. Um, that will go into production, I'm sure, in 2017 at some point. The other bits and bobs, uh, Black Friday Wax, he launched a white and a black. I went with a black. Um, it's kind of mellowed, it's went a little bit of a, a blue, um, which I don't mind at all. Um, it's quite a, a citrusy scent, quite punchy. It's a nice scent. I'll give this one a go. I, uh, I asked before they launched their prices if there was a difference in terms of the actual wax between the black and the white, and the answer was no, it's just a coloring. So I just bought the one, but trying to liberate money with other things. Um, but the other things that turned up in the package are their um, smaller 30 mil um, sample sizes. And these are potential future uh, waxes for wax junkies. Um, they're four pound a pot and they are worth every penny of that because like I said, the waxes here, they, they are absolutely fantastic. Um, but use them, try them. Um, they're all developmental, but if they tick the right boxes, if enough people are making noise about them, they'll go into production, you get full size. So be a part of something, something here. Join in, um, buy these up, the minimum of outlay, and like I say, you know, you, you might actually be involved in something becoming a production wax. It's well worth it. So. We've got development one, two, and three, um, as they are labeled on the website. For 30 mil, plenty of wax in there. You're gonna be able to cover a fair few cars with that, um, but it's gonna give you enough of a measure. Scent-wise, that's quite chocolatey. Um, so it's quite a nice scent on that one. Like a mellow chocolate scent. I might be way off the mark on that, but forgive me if I'm not. Um, on this one, I actually uh, I had to look it up afterwards. Um, this one is rhubarb, I, I believe. And then the final one, passion fruit, if I remember correctly. But all lovely colored waxes, fantastic scented waxes, and all waxes that I'm gonna be having use of um, all around springtime is all I can say. It's 20 to nine, which is early for me filming one of these, but uh, it is pitch black, so, you know, just typical December, granted running a few days before Christmas, so, you know, you gotta roll with that one. The others, I'm not gonna take a whiff of these, despite the fact of what they are. Um, Auto glands, they started doing their air fresheners this year, um, and they are already up to 32 available scents, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, they retail about eight quid a bottle, I really wanted to try some, um, but you have that problem. Eight quid a bottle by 32 bottles, I ain't spending that much money um, on just air fresheners alone. The Black Friday deals on these, these were a shade over three quid a bottle. So I picked five. Um, the ones that I picked, purely it's just one of those like, what sounds the most delicious, went with chocolate strawberry. Uh, this one you can see is already partially empty. Um, the reason for that is decanted and it's a small, smaller bottle in my car, um, but that's Christmas spice. So time of year for it, you know, just go a bit nuts, get your car smelling like uh, Christmas. The others, cafe latte. I'm one of those weird folks, I hate the taste of coffee, but I could sniff the stuff all day. You know, if you give me a job in Starbucks, I just kind of wander around sniffing coffee beans, looking like an absolute nut job. Um, 
vanilla. I tell you, if this rings any bells with you, mention it in the comments below. Um, I can't be the only one. My dad, when we were growing up, my dad had an old Cavalier. It was a GSI 2000. It was white. It was very much of its time. Um, used to look after it with him. Used to help him wash it. Um, you know, we'd use Max Wax on it. So, you know, back in the days of ripped T-shirts and running over it with that stuff. But it always, always had a vanilla magic tree in it. And that just transports me straight back to being a kid in dad's car. Um, like I said, can't be the only one. So if I am, you know, that's fine. But if I'm not, you know, at least give me some support in the comments below. Let me know. The other one, um, bubblegum, not my initial pick. Uh, this, um, never been a, a huge fan of bubblegum scented um, air fresheners and each to their own. Um, I went with Tutti Frutti just to, to give it a crack and uh, I spoke with Joe and he says, yeah, in all fairness, I'll leave the boxing up to the lads because that was his mistake. It was his mispick. But like any quality company, um, you know, he didn't say a hey, sod off. He just said, yeah, apologies, my, my mistake, miss pick, get the tutti frutti out in the post. So it's good enough to have done that. Uh, and like I say, with any company, we're all human, we're all going to make mistakes, but it, the measure of a company is how you deal with it. Uh, and Auto Glands did not argue one bit. They said, you know, we're going to get that sent out. Speaking of them, uh, I have picked up as well their metal polish. They've recently launched a metal polish. Um, so that should be coming in the post soon. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll get that used, it will feature in an unboxing, and then I'll give it a crack. But so far, not hit a product from Auto Glands that I don't like, so I'm sure I'll love the metal polish, but I was curious to see what it, uh, what it would do, so look forward to that in the future. Uh, final bits and bobs, so that's Black Friday out of the way. Um, yeah, it's definitely Black Friday out of the way. The other bits that I've got, these are really more just a case of people um, you know, good people making their own products. Um, obviously, that's how most of these people started. If you look at Primal Detail's website, you know, they say, look, a bunch of people that love our cars and motorbikes and we just wanted to make some products. Very admirable. Wax Junkies, ODK, same thing. Matt from OCD, same thing. I'm sure Joe from uh, Auto Glands, similar story. So they're all on different stages of their journey. And one thing that's hugely exciting for me is to get in right at that ground level. And this is something you guys have got an opportunity to do right here with this manufacturer called Waxtub. Um, Waxtub aren't officially launched yet. They don't launch until next year. Um, I think it's early next year, January, um, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but like, you tell me this doesn't look like a finished product at this point. The branding is beyond simple, but it catches the eye. The pot, and obviously, you know, you stick wax in a pot. How do you make it unique? How do you make it yours? You give it an internal lid. I, I think this is just such a lovely touch. Um, there we are. Again, a bit of condensation on this one, actually. So this is just with me storing it and transporting it here. Um, I think this is just a really nicely presented wax. It is very oily to the touch. From what I can see so far uh, on Instagram, everyone seems to love it that has tried it. Um, wax Tub as well recently just announced on Instagram uh, that they are, um, not sure if they say they're a sponsor or a trader on uh, Detailing World, but either way, it's good of them to be on Detailing World. It's a good place to be, and their products look absolutely fantastic. They are launching in January with this, which is their raspberry scented wax. It's a lovely scent. I mean, this is really strong. This is quite pungent too. These are nicely subtle. Um, this falls into that subtle category. Um, I'm sure it'd be a lovely wax when I use it, but certainly as far as, uh, you know, quality of presentation. Um, I think these guys are on something that is unique and their own. And correct me if I'm wrong. You know, tell, tell me if someone else is putting a lid within a lid. I think it's a lovely touch. The future for them past the raspberry is this one here, uh, which is their banana wax. Look at this for a sample. It even comes with its own lid as well. But this is their banana wax. Believe me guys when I tell you this smells exactly like foam bananas. That is, it is absolutely delightful as a scent goes. The 141, for those of you curious, and obviously you've got different ways to approach this if you're putting products out. So one is to you know create something, obviously test it to a point, but then send it out to the big wide world. 
and you know let the feedback come tweak from there um wax tub actually made 141 uh, versions there's 141 developments and this is the 141st so they got to a point where they said you know what yep we're happy with what we've done here it is 141 in and uh, I think that's a nice way to approach it um, obviously shows a lot of care and attention is going into what they're putting out there so something like that I can't really say I could use it and it's going to come out bad uh, you know there's I mean, who goes through 140 rehearsals to put something out there that's not going to be you know good stuff so that i'm confident with but i'll let you guys know as you guys already know i'm going to review it and i'll put my thoughts to the world very finally we've got these here again new company similar thing to wax tub not really launched so much the website is live and you can go and buy these um but as far as kind of like a a launch to kick it off not seen that yet from these guys um, so I'd imagine that's that's impending um, this is a brand called Gleam Freaks um, it's another Welsh uh, outfit actually and I've, I've said this before it seems like people in Wales have just turned to brewing waxes and stuff which I'm, I'm all for um, if you have a look through uh, the information that is out there for Gleam Freaks one of the things they do say is that performance for them is priority over things like scent which uh, have more sort of a you know that's superfluous to requirements type of attitude with it which i'm, I'm cool with um the thing when you take that approach is obviously everything needs to be spot on so you know with any sort of approach to it i would much rather it be this way than look we've made this pile of crap but it smells like roses wax your car with it so you know if i had to pick one of the two ways i'd prefer it be functional and, and just have a, a standard scent um the products that they've sent I'll show you the three of them. So we've got Pure Flexion. Um, so it says high grade wax polish. So I'm assuming it's a, an all in one type of uh, product. Um, yeah, to protect and shine your paperwork. Uh, the labeling on it, I like. There is one small typo on it. And I don't say that to be an absolute dick and point that out. Um, it's just something once you kind of get into the, the big wide world, once you've launched, the one thing that you kind of want to make sure of is that if people are reading through it and you know maybe they've got a 40, 50, 60,000 pound car at home, that they're gonna go, right, well, I'm gonna put this on my car and that's wrong. It's, it can just be one of those little daftnesses that can be off-putting. So uh, it'd be a shame if these things are, you know, brilliant products for it to just be uh, there. So I'll, uh, I'll feed that back to Gleam Freaks. The, the, the products themselves, uh, pure flexion, say, assume it, an all-in-one type of product, um, certainly looks like, you know, a type of cream liquid wax type of uh, consistency. Um, they do have scents, but that smells like a sealant. It's kind of a petroleum type of uh, solventy smell. The next bit, they've got Poly Seal uh, 12. Um, so this is a polymer containing superior blend of polymer chains and suspended PTFE. Um, finishing product, naturally. So I imagine go with that, finish with this. Uh, I look forward to trying all these so I can give you some thoughts because the one thing with these, like I said, we're really getting in on the ground level here. You can't really see any reviews other than the people that are making it. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're going to put out um, unbiased or biased reviews. Obviously, they're just going to say, like, I'm making these and here's some, some photos. It's nice to get them real world. It, you know, I'm trying to make these reviews at the minute. Um, you know, it's cold, sometimes raining. And, you know, it's things like that that people like you or I maybe are going to be using in the real world that give a truer reflection. Um, so I'm hoping for great things from these, but you're going to see that soon enough. And then very finally, I sent their Pronto Wax. The thing that caught the eye with this, so um, it's it strikes me as like a, you know, a, a spray wax type of product, um, but it's the consistency. So generally these are quite watery in consistency, and this is actually quite creamy as you can see um, I can't think of another product at least I own that has that sort of consistency for a spray wax if, if you guys can think of one let me know um, but for no other reason than that I'm really keen to try it to just see you know how that applies how that sprays what sort of finish you can get on that um, but for now like I say complete unknown so that definitely 
well, with all of it, it'll all get a run out. But look out for these guys. If not already, go and um, subscribe to them on Instagram. Um, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, as is everyone here, actually. Um, so, yeah, go out, do your, uh, your civic duty, join up with these guys, show them some support, um, and they'll keep making awesome stuff. L let me bring you back down, I'll just be a second. So, there we have it. Uh, one Black Friday unboxing done. Um, thanks for watching. As always, if uh, you can like and subscribe, share this far and wide, send it out to the world. Uh, anyone that might be interested in seeing, uh, you know, geek unwrapping car cleaning stuff, and I'm sure there's people out there. So, viewership certainly seems to suggest so. Um, everything featured here, it's all linked below. So, if you want to look into this stuff, um, I'll make that very easy. Just Go into the description, you'll have uh, the links going direct to all of these uh, lovely, lovely people and their lovely products, with obviously notable exceptions. You ain't gonna find that, and that's difficult to come by. Um, but certainly for the rest of it, it is accessible and available and well worth, I'm sure, spending a few quid on to find out for yourself if it's worth uh, the money. So, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas and a very, very prosperous New Year. And uh, check back. See us again soon. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.